la 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 la. Hello, Lores. Good morning. Hey, PA. So. Today, you're gonna build up your on bike or the drivetrain from bottom bracket, crank, chain, derailleur, gear cable, setting all the gears up. Uh, it's gonna be race ready, not your everyday ride, but it's gonna be race ready, and that's how you like it. And we're gonna make it amazing. All right, step one open your XTR box. Does Shimano bottom bracket are pretty amazing like more you ride them and more you you use them and if you clean them quite often we just use the same bottom bracket all year long so whenever we swap bikes or swap whatever we i keep the same bottom bracket because it's been bed in very well so that's why you're gonna put this one on and it's gonna be your 2020 bottom bracket that middle part should it go inside so the middle part, you don't use it because okay. it's too heavy. <laughs> what is it go. for? To save from the mud. But if you look inside in your frame, in your bottom bracket part, yeah. there's no mud. Mud cannot go in. Okay. And there is so like there's a right, right side and a left side. Should be right uh, in. Yeah. Left in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so before you put it on, yeah. put you, grease. you add some grease on the threads. Yeah. So there's three washers. It's gonna be two on your drive side and one on your non-drive side. And how do you know that? Uh, because I've been building bikes for a few years now. Yeah, but if someone has a new bike, how does he know? Is it to put the, align yeah, the chain? Yeah, so to align the chain correctly with the chain guide and everything. And so you said two the on the right side? Two on the drive, yeah, two on the right. Is it drive? Yeah, okay. So th there should be a narrow on your bottom bracket to, to tell you where, which way to spin? No? Is there no arrow, nothing? Mm, yeah, no. tighter. Yeah. yeah. So okay. it's the opposite of normally. But what, what you do is like you spin on the other side until you can feel a click and then you go in to make sure you don't fuck the thread. So to turn clockwise, so you turn <laughs> clockwise until you feel the thread skipping. So that means it's ready to, to put it in. Okay, just, <laughs> just doesn't matter, just put it in. What? Because otherwise sometimes you can, you can damage the thread if you do it like this. Anyway. I can feel it's the right thing. Just goes in. Okay, good. Perfect. And one on the one, other side. Yes, please. Please. So it's a XTR bottom bracket instead of a scent bottom bracket. And yeah, 20 gram lighter and also it's black, so it just looks nice. And there's another little thing that we add at the end, a special surprise for ah, you yeah. guys. If you follow the video to the end, you're going to see the surprise. Yeah. To tight the thing. Oh, okay, it's this. so that's a big tool. Yeah. So the big tool, there's already that plastic washer on it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Do you know how much torque do you have to put? Do you torque so, wrench? So, um, bottom bracket is quite tight, like, like 61 and a half torque. Yeah, that's good. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go, it's coming. Yeah, good, good job. Uh, yeah, it's a Shimano, uh, I don't know what you call it, Shimano shaft. It's okay, easier. next step. Good job. Uh, we're going to put the chain guide on. This yeah. thing. So watch out, it's got some washer and yeah. screws and everything. So I have to put those stuff behind, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, full, full chain guide on, a, on your downhill bike. Uh, but here. yeah, we use a Shimano chain guide. It's, a, it's good easy it's easy when you have to remove your chain or your crank you know like really quickly on your bike or whatever it's just really easy light and yeah i like it and the good thing the bash guard is on the crank the bash guard is not on a chain guide so if you 
smash your chain, your uh, your bash guard. You can change it really easy as well. You can ju just do an easy swap. Yeah, like this. Yeah, perfect. And now you can tight it. Do you go through many chain guides per year, Lois? Bash guard, sorry. Uh, bash guard for sure. Chain guide, no, because it's uh, the cool thing about like the Saint is like you put it where your feet are so you never really like opposite fe feet so just have like half and it's like lighter to have than a full one you know what I mean yeah, yeah. instead of like a full ring so when I first saw that I was like oh yeah that's smart so sometimes we don't use any bash guard when we know there's no rocks nothing to save some weight so we just don't put any uh, bash guard sometimes on some races finish with your crank now Yeah, so make sure you put a little bit of grease on the top, on your shaft. Always grease your shaft top. There we go. Not too much. And after you try to, you use three fingers and you try to spin it in, spin it up. The grease, I mean. Attends, attends, attends. Tu peux étaler la graisse? Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Il y a une chiffonnette en bas là, si tu veux. Ouais. Come on! Yeah, boy. Yeah, so we've been running those Shimano sand cranks. They are just really good. They just never, there's never ever any issue with them and you don't want issues with your crank. So the surprise is here already. So we're using, uh, from a XTR crank, does little... Like I was checking my Andro bikes and uh, cause I was doing that to my bike. I was like changing, whatever, like. And uh, I was like, ah, that's actually lighter. It looks like carbon or whatever. And I put it on my downer bike and then we just figured out like, yeah. We want to use that. It's just in my head. I like it. I just like the idea of having the best stuff I want. I need. I want, and it makes me faster. Just because I know I have that little thing. I don't know what it is, but it's like black instead of gold. And it's lighter. It's plastic instead of aluminium. So this is really important to put the right torque on it. So you don't want a lot of torque. So you want to go in and feel it's good and then untight and tight back a car back and put it back in and back again just like <laughs> and you're good both screws in the same time little bit by little bit yeah good so you want those two quite tight it's, it says something on it it says a uh, talk 12 to 14 okay perfect so, so yeah 12 to 14 so now we're gonna install the rear derailleur, the so Shimano Sant 10 speed rear derailleur. Carrément. So yeah, Shimano Sant, there's no, never ever any issues with it. It's just really good, really good shifting. Um, so every time there's a lowish cra uh, crash, I just change it because you never know if, you know, we, we're racing, we want to be sure on a race. Race run, the derailleur is perfect, so I just change it if Loris crashes. If it doesn't crash, I just I don't I keep the same for a long time. With the clutch, do you ever play around with having that on and off with the suspension uh, and stuff? Or? Yeah, we did play a lot with it, with the clutch, and even we removed the clutch cap and tried to do different settings on the clutch cap between off and off. And yeah, we tried a really, really, really tight clutch so it was no noise, no noise, no noise. But when you go like really deep compression, so clutch get off again. So it's just like ling, ling, ling. So yeah, we tried, but basically we're back to running the normal settings from Shimano Sant clutch. So we don't touch anything with the clutch on, that's it. No, 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 no. Where's no, the no. gear cable? No, no, no. So come, uh, come to me and look forward like that there and yeah that that's true is that where you put the cable 
Really? Right. Shit. <laughs> yep. Okay. And just plug it in. So make sure you go all through your gear. Which way? With your index. Okay, and now if you look on the same hole, you know the screw you remove, can you yeah. see through? Mm, yeah. Yeah? No. What do you mean? <laughs> can you see through the, the derailleur? No. Let's get again. Ah. Okay. Can you see through the derailleur now? Yeah. Okay, good. So that's what you want. You want to be on the that's right gears. So easy. Just go on the front of the bike. There. So left hand on the cable. Yeah. And do all your gears just to make sure. Yeah, it's pulling and okay, good. Perfect. So we know it. She's working. working. So make sure you use all Shimano outer cable and Shimano inner cable. There's other brand doing inner and outer cable at like Jaguar and I think, but I feel like the Shimano is just the shifting is so much better. Just it just works very good. Uh, just a Shimano inner and outer cable is, is the best. It's just the way it is. So gear cable, I will change it twice a week. Just in case if it breaks or anything. I mean, those guys are riding like crazy on top of the wheel and the bike, you know, is, you want to make sure there's nothing breaks on a race run. So, you know, gear cable, you just change it start of the week and you change it like few runs, couple runs before the race run or something. Or or just before the restaurant depends on how your week. So 10 spin chain. Ooh, don't lose that. Yeah. Uh, so the chain, if you look on each side, there's a side with some logos and the other side without logos. Yeah. So make sure you put the logo facing you. That's the way Shimano chain works. Okay. So your logo facing It's not you. just for the look. It's a... Yeah, the chain has got a way to Close. walk. So, logo facing me. Do you have a way to do it? Uh, yeah, just like you do, yeah. Keep going the way you were doing it, on top. And go for your chain guide on the right. <laughs> When's the last time you broke a chain? Uh, not too long ago, actually. I was doing sprints and it broke. So maybe. Okay. Yeah. So imagine at a World Cup, so we out there and there's basic basically thousands and thousands of people watching us doing this. I think I've nailed it. Just I don't know the length. How do you do it? So you stay on your lower gear. So here's your your derailleur is like fully closed. That's you know that's got some tension and up. Just like this, so you go in and you tight it a little bit and that's it, that's what you want. Because I just know otherwise, if you're not so sure and you have more gears or whatever, you remove your coil on your shock or you remove all your air on your air shock, depending if you call shock or air shock, and you go on your upper gear with your chain on all leaked together and you make sure there's enough travel even on the first gear. Because on the first gear, like on the start, starting gate, sometimes your chain will be a bit too short or something and when they start on the starting gate, the bike will compress and the tension on the chain will be a lot and there's more chance maybe to break it as well. Okay. But like a, a default chain can happen too, so there's a lot of, you know, happens. You put a brand new chain before your race run, it goes off the gate and boom, it's sometimes it's just no luck on the chain too. So we won't try to avoid some breaking chain and the too short chain can be a broken chain soon. Okay. And affects the suspension too. If the chain is too short, uh, it's just gonna stop working your suspension so well. So a longer chain helps your own suspension too. Yeah, that's 
pretty good, I think. Okay, perfect. How do you hold on to this and then this? You need three hands. <laughs> okay. I can make you a I toy. dropped it. Oh. So if you want a tool, just make one up with a spoke that you bent, bent, and... That's a good tool, actually. Come on. So if you work smarter, not harder. It goes in really easy. Yeah, that's good, but still some more to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the rest you're gonna do it with ah. a tool, with a chain tool. <laughs> so this part you need to be really precise. So before you do anything, just listen to me. Yep, I'm listening. Okay, so you're gonna install your tool correctly into your chain. Mm -hmm. You're gonna start spinning, spinning in. Yep. And you're gonna feel some resistance. Yep. So you keep going, keep going. You can see, and after it's gonna be loose again. And when you see your pin is like pretty much closed, you're going to feel the first resistance and that's where you stop straight away. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Okay, perfect. And you break In there. it. And then after? Yeah, you spin it. Spin what? Uh, rotation, the tool, rotation. Yeah, as it to to no, clack. <laughs> okay. Ça fait peur. Vas-y, vas-y, vas-y. Stau. Pow. Good job. So what you want on your smaller gear, you don't want your chain being floppy floppy. You want to make sure it's got some tension a little bit because you don't want yeah, you don't want that. So that's good. If your chain is too long you can open it again and remove some quickly some some link and close it back again if it's too short i don't recommend to add some more link it's if it's too short just change the chain so if it's a brand new chain that you buy in a shop or whatever just just go slowly to to cut it down just do step by step if you want to if you're not too sure you don't if you don't want to fuck it up so we're gonna check those uh, A screw and B screw index screws. So, so it's uh, on your L. You want to tighten it a bit more. So basically, I just look at. It. I just know when I look at it. I just don't look at the H and L. It, it does confuse me a little bit too. So I just look at the design of the derailleur, and here we can see that screw is really close. Here. So it just needs a little bit more tightening and so basically when you're on the top you don't want your derriere to move so that's why you want mm. to tighten it when ah. it's good because we close from here. So yeah, a bit more, a little bit more. Oh, oh better, better, a little bit more. You don't want any movement at all. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, it's good. So to remove the extra click you just go tighter because your shifter your derailleur cannot go out so it just blocks your shifter so that's it i cannot if i push really hard we're gonna hear a click but the it's just been on the it just gives more tension on the cable so now we've got seven clicks for eight gears and after you just no check click. again so you go all the way down all the way down, so you check these screws and you try to align this galley, this little ah bullet, yeah. with your gear there. Ah. So you want to align it too. Try to tighten it a bit more and you will see it moving. If you tighten it more, because it press on that body there, on that piece, and you can see your roulette. So the screw press on that part of the derailleur and just gonna adjust your derailleur. I like the way you think. It's like, it's not trying to explain what they actually do. It's like trying to explain just how it should work. 
and you just do it. Yeah. Because I didn't know like what they were for. Yeah. Yeah, like now I understand. Knows, it's like yeah. easy. It's simple. So basically, doing that, it just so your chain doesn't go outside of your cassette or inside of your cassette. It just those two screws just limits your your, cas your chain movement. You try to push out, push out with yeah. your thumb there. Okay, Good. doesn't go anywhere. Okay, perfect. And what you can do too yep. is like go, go on the low, go on the low gear, pedal. What you can check just by hand with your, so hand there, thumb there, pedaling in the same time, just just to make sure without using just a shifter, just by hand, just like more pressure on it, just to make sure the chain doesn't go and like quite fast too, like release. So the good thing is that you can release completely and comes really fast down and making sure it doesn't go out too. So I push it in, release completely, okay, that's good. Perfect, good job Loris. So, so now you want to Make sure your tension, your no. tension, your cable is good now. How do you do that? So you you come here and I explain to you. I go back on my Range Rover. So basically, now you we're gonna go slow each gear. So you're gonna pedal with your crank and go <coughs> up. <coughs> Bless yep. you. Go up one gear and wait. Okay, so it needs a little bit more tension. Because normally it should be a bit faster. So, so how do you make it tighter? So you want to you want to give tension to your cable, cable. So when you do that, you, you want to tight it. You want to tight it. So you want to do this. If you're not sure, just like give two or three turns. And basically, you want this to go out, so it gives more tension to your cable. If you're not sure, just tension. more tension. Like when it's slow going up, it you needs need tension. more tension. So and you want to, yeah. If it's going up too easy, like not that on means purpose, yeah. it's too tight. Yeah, but sometimes is even when your cable has been tied down, it's been too tight already. Okay. So basically, you want to undo your cable, loosen it up a little bit, undo back your cable. You want to. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. Ooh. And after a check on the downhill, so going down. So it's a little bit too tight. So okay. you wanna, you wanna have your perfect downhill shift to be spot on, and on the uphill there's always your thumb to push it up. So undo a little bit. Yeah, you want your downhill. So you make the downhill better than the. Yeah. Because we are riding downhill. Because we are riding downhill. Like XC, <laughs> they want when they go up. To be like perfect, maybe, and down is like fine. I don't know, maybe not. Um, the Enduro derailleur are even just well better made. It's just like all the structure and having a longer cage and it just helps to have a better shifting. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna cut the cable and put a cable hand, and that's it, we're good to go. So you just leave uh, an inch, like two or three centimeters out. Sir? It's a bit too long. Parfait. Ça. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Ooh, I fucked it. <laughs> Was it my fault, PA? No, it's not your fault, Loris. It's bad. Can I cut some? <laughs> okay, um, or maybe change the cable. No. Oh, oh look it. at that. Yeah. Come in, Joe. Check it out. But it's your thing. It's not my fault. So basically, to avoid this, what you do, you bend your yeah. cable in. You don't touch it, you just cut it. If you hold it and cut it, when it comes back, it just sting, like a spring out. So you should have told me that before. I, sh I should have said. But I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to wait and see. Yeah, yeah, we'll put a new cable on. But I'm an apprentice. It's fine. Yeah. 
There you go. You look it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want that flashing around. Doesn't doesn't look good. But it's okay. Good job, cool. Boris. You did good. Well done. I know how to yeah, do stuff. Mm-hmm. And so whenever you give your bike to the rider, never leave the gear down because imagine it's gonna pedal and it's just gonna be hard for him and he has got to shift and it's gonna be some tension on the chain, it's gonna be like click, click, click. So when you give the rider back to your rider, always. But at night, you put the gears down. To That's not true. So at night when you finish your day, you leave your gear down so the the big spring on your derailleur doesn't stay stretched out. It just straight like, like this. Yeah. And after, when you're ready to ride, put it back on top, and that's it. Cool. Put it back on top. Boom. Looks cool. good. Well done, Loris. In front of you. Uh, I can't say anything to that. Oh. You should not be. So the surprise is here already. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on here. Sit on the saddle. Get on the seat. There you go. <laughs> 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 Looks like he doesn't know. I to fucking ride a bike. <laughs> <laughs>